Hello, my name is Shania Wheelock and this is my CEP Lobby and Inspiration Wall Redesign. Chicago Exhibit Productions is introducing a student proposal opportunity to redesign the lobby space and inspiration wall for its headquarters in Chicago. Lobby and inspiration wall must reflect the CEP brand through creative uses of materials, technologies, and graphics. All creative interpretations should be explored and be limited only to current manufacturing processes. The budget is $30,000 and the dimensions of the inspiration wall are 197.5 inches by 128.5. The objective of this opportunity is to communicate a visual story, highlighting the culture, personality, and the essence of what C makes CP what it is today. CP wants its brand brought to life, making a memorable impression to everyone walking through the door. The theme I chose to go with is past, present, and future. Two personas that can be seen in this space may consist of the receptionist and a client. The arousal is lower in the receptionist because they're used to the environment itself so they are more relaxed. The pleasure is mid because the environment is pleasant and has a wide spaces and lots of windows. The dominance, dominance is mid to high because the worker feels comfortable and feels like they have control over their work. The next persona would be a client looking for an exhibit to be designed and built. Their level of arousal is high because it is a new enticing environment. The pleasure is high because the office gives them good energy and feels professional and reassuring. The dominance is low because the client hasn't met the designers yet and doesn't know what to expect. The design style I chose is contemporary. I did not want to stray far away from the brand's already existing interior, but instead brighten it. Contemporary is less is more, smooth profiles, solid or subtle patterns, minimal accessories, strong emphasis on line and form, an abundance of open space and natural light, and a balance of edges with few curves and glossy surfaces. And you'll be able to see in my space, I used a lot of wood with the, for the strong emphasis on line, but I used curvy furniture to help balance the straight edges. And I used a glossy red paint on the wall behind the receptionist desk to emphasize the glossy surface for a te nice texture to bring in the room to lighten it. I used uh, CEP's 185 red Pantone color and uh, a cool gray. It kind of looks different on the 3D rendering than it would in real life. And I also used a light wood material you'll see throughout the space. I want the inspiration wall to symbolize the growth of the company, creating a sort of family tree element. Without having work to do and exhibits to create, the company would not continue to grow. This is where the mirror represents that the person in the mirror affects the company, whether it is by giving the company work to do or being a part of creating the work. The overall CEP company building is the place. The building is divided into a number of spaces, including the lobby space. The lobby space has two functions, the waiting area for clients or visitors and the receptionist work area. The lobby space can be split into two rectangular forms. The size of the lobby is generous to functional because it goes above the basic requirements of building codes, but not quite the size of a high-class hotel lobby. The relationship between the space is clearly defined by the open space and curved ceiling leading you to the next space and hallways. The lobby space is relatively open with openings to multiple other spaces in the office connecting throughout the lobby. The space is contained because there are walls on all sides, but they are not completely sealed. There seems to be one main path from the entrance leading to the lobby or off to the right to more offices. Nodes in the lobby may be in front of the reception desk where another section of the office connects. The approach is, uh, for a worker, they'll be familiar with the approach. They'll know where the building is, where the parking is, and how long it'll take them to get from their car to the office entrance. A client will be less familiar, if not familiar at all, if they have not been to the area and haven't visited before. They'll be thinking of where to park, what the building looks like, and where the entrance is. 
The receptionist will walk through the entrance without even thinking about it. They'll go right to their desk or to the employee lounge to drop off their stuff. The client may take a minute to appreciate the building's entrance and the red interior in the entrance way. The client will be wowed by the inspiration wall they see right when they walk past the entrance. They'll be able to find the receptionist's desk right away. On the way in, everyone will see the landmark, which is the inspiration wall. The client uh, will ask the receptionist about the meeting they're there for. The waiting time may vary, giving the client an opportunity to observe the office interior and inspiration wall. The receptionist will not have a waiting experience. The initial impression for the client in the lobby space will be the company has a professional, sleek persona. The space seems relatively large because of the mirror on the wall and the lack of clutter. For the worker, moving to the destination is known like the back of their hand, and they won't think much about their surroundings. The client will need to be pointed in the right direction or follow a worker to know where they are going if they are not familiar with the building. The, work the worker's target destination on an average day will be their desk. The client's final destination is usually the conference table inside the office's conference room. The target activity for the worker is at their desk, working on projects for clients. The target activity for the client is the meeting with the workers in the conference room, talking and collaborating on the project he or she is hiring them for. The worker's side trips include the bathroom or the kitchen or the lounge. The client's side trips will be going to the bathroom or waiting in the lounge area again. Secondary activities for the worker include meetings with clients and lunch breaks. Secondary activities may be visiting workers' offices. The worker will be at the space longer than the client, but their exit will be short and direct. Client may take longer navigating from the office spaces, but will understand where they are as soon as they enter the lobby. Workers will exit and not pay attention to their surroundings because of their familiarity with the area. Client will notice architectural elements they may have not noticed on the way out of the or into the building. The enrichment of the office makes the people inside feel comfortable and positive. The bright, rich wood colors creates a positive atmosphere. The pattern of the wood makes movement and energy in the environment. The order of the lobby is understood easily. The open spaces prevent confusion, and you can see the paths to other spaces clearly, helping understand the other spaces that will be within the place. For my design process, I looked at CEP's problem that they wanted solved. How can we design a wall that makes people feel wowed, but has a symbolism behind what the company brand is? I knew I wanted to keep it simple, and I love the wood inspiration images, but I also wanted something using mirrors. I decided to go with the idea of speed and growth, and I experimented with different wood textures, such as dark mahoganies, but it created a more dark automotive feeling. I found the lighter wood created a happier, brighter environment that matched the playful side of the company. I chose furniture that balanced the straight edge forms that also added some character into the room. The overall wall outcome came out sleek and sleek looking and I envisioned lights to be added inside the wood uh, on the desk and on the wall and it would add a vibrant element to both the desk and the wall. Thank you for watching.